this video, I'm going to be making arroz con gondules. This is a Puerto Rican dish that is otherwise known in Hawaii as ganduri rice. Um, you know, interestingly enough, we do have a very good sized Puerto Rican population here, and this is one of those dishes that's really translated into our ethnic, uh, our ethnic repertoire of dishes that is perfect for holidays and really good for get-togethers. First thing I'm going to do is I have some oil in a pan here. I'm going to add long grain rice. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of coat all these grains of rice and we're also going to lightly toast them. What that's going to do when we, when we make this dish is going to keep the rice grains from sticking together and it'll give a little bit of flavor from that light toasting. I'm also going to add diced onions into the pot here. And we want to cook this just so that we can get a nice translucency on the onions. Now there are a lot of recipes out there and I've made a lot of them and a lot of them can be rather complicated. So this is my version that, that achieves a simplified and delicious version of arroz con gondules. One thing to note, I'm using long grain rice here and I know in Hawaii we tend to eat a lot of the medium kalos rice. For the best results, you do want to use a long grain rice. If you have jasmine rice, you can use that too. And that'll give you sort of a nice, uh, it add a little bit of fragrance to the dish. Um, if you have to, have to, you can use the, the medium grain rice or the calrose rice, but it tends to be more glutinous and sticky. And in this dish, you don't want it to be a really sticky rice. Okay, so now the onions are starting to look nice and translucent. The oil is coating all the grains of rice. I'm now gonna add, this is ground natto, or a ground annatto seed, which gives it a, a nice orange color and gives it some nice earthy flavor. And then we're gonna add some of the, what I consider the Puerto Rican secret weapon. It's sazon, it's seasoning spice that goes in there. I'm just gonna cook it and just coat the grains with that seasoning and the natto. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, we have uh, stuffed pimento olives that are going in there. And some recipes call for capers, and you can use capers if you want. Some people also put ham or bacon in there, and that also works. So you can make a really decadent one if you want. The next thing we're gonna add is uh, we have tomato sauce that's going in. And here's the, the gandule beans that are going in. Uh, they're also known as green pigeon peas putting that in and I'm putting it in with the liquid. Important to use the liquid because the liquid and the tomato and the stock we're going to put in are all calculated together as part of the liquid to make sure that the rice cooks all the way through and is not uh, crunchy. Last goes in stock. Now I use stock because I always want to be building flavor. I want to add flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. If you want to, you can use water, that's fine. It's just that um, water doesn't have any flavor. So you, will end, you may end up with a, a rice that's, you know, not quite as robust and flavorful as if you use stock. The last thing that goes in is cilantro. And what I'm gonna do now is bring this all to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, I'm gonna let it come down to a very slow simmer cover it and then we're going to cook it for about 18 to 20 minutes so it absorbs all the liquid. Once it's done, we'll come back, I'll open the lid, you get to see what this all looks like. So we've been cooking our arroz for 20 minutes and I want to show you what it looks like. Here you go, it looks awesome. You can see all of the flavors coming together, you know, it's still nice and moist. I'm gonna just lightly stir it so you can see what it looks like inside the pan. But what I'm gonna do is I wanna let it sit because it's still, it's finished the cooking time. But what needs to happen now is it just needs to sit and reabsorb and let all the flavors marry together. So typically once this is done, I do a light stir like this. And then I cover it back. And I just let it absorb and sit for another 10 or 15 minutes before I serve it. That said, we have some here that is finished already, and you can see 
I think it looks wonderful and delicious. I have some maduros, which are fried sweet plantains with it. And I just thought, just to like kick it up a notch a little bit, to freshen it, we'll put a little bit of fresh cilantro garnish on there. And I'm gonna tear a few pieces here, just really rough. Sprinkle it along the dish to give it some color. And there you have it. As we know it in Hawaii, ganduri rice, or as my wife calls it, arroz con gundules. Make this for your next party and make lots of friends. For this recipe, visit us at foodland.com.